All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Ren Engelstead here, Thunderdome, Minnesota. This is take number three on an unboxing and review from Mongoose Drake. This is my side of a trade. And the problem is, on the third take, you can't go back to the box. I will say he does know how to wrap blasters, so if you ever buy something from him, trade something from him, or commission or whatever from him, he knows how to wrap and protect your blasters. So he sent a couple extra modulus pieces, which are great. And then this is my side of a trade. I sent him some of the Busby bas blasters I thrifted. Um, it's been a while. He did a video on it. I'm sure there were some, eh, you know, vintage Busby-ness. Um, nothing too terribly uh, radical by today's standards, but it's all neat uh, for a Busby guy. So um, I think there was a couple red snipes that he had me pick up and send to him. As part of the deal. So I uh, sent a nice little letter um, talking about which the blasters are and I think I'll just go through the blasters as we shoot them and you'll see uh, how they are. I guess on the third take now you can see uh, several darts downrange already. So this will be my first sentry. Never had one before, never thrifted one before and yeah it's got some pop. No complaints on the Sentry. I don't know what they are stock, but being as it's just a small little two-shot blaster and it still hits with a thump, um, that's just fine. We have a nice white painted night attack and definitely upgraded spring on this. And yeah, it'll it has some zip. I do need to buy a new camera mount. So sorry about the uh, camera moving. Hope. Uh, that all works out. This will be a nice blue snipe. It has a brass be breech and a probably upgraded spring and some other goodies done to it. This will be my first blue snipe. I've had red snipes and gray snipes. Gabe has a green one. This will be my first blue. So, so if it shoots that far and still has that big of a hump when it lands, we know we're hitting pretty good. I can't prime it one-handed, so I won't even try. And then we have a nice Thermal Hunter. My favorite of the current Busby offerings. Um, well, I got a lot of favorites from the current Busby offerings. They do some really neat blasters these days. Um, they have for a while, actually. So um, I'm glad that they've become compatible with Nerf. And they I think that was a big revelation on their part. And I think they are giving Nerf a run for their money. Oh... I didn't prime it. Let's see if I can use that one one handed. See, like I said, this is take three on this one. on this job. It's been a busy day getting kids ready for camp. So yeah, they have some zip to them. So I'll have to go and retrieve some darts. Um, these were just uh, Z head or waffle head darts I was shooting down range. Um, so. For them to be that accurate and still have that kind of impact when they land, we know that they have some, uh, like I said, they got some pop. So that's a wonderful thing. Thank you very much for the trade, uh, Mongoose Jake. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. And um, I'm a big fan, and he's definitely got uh, reviews and thrifting and uh, mods and all kinds of fun stuff that you can see. Um, obviously, if this is a small sample of his work, and uh, like I said, you know, I told him on for my, you know, just keep it simple. We don't have to do anything too um, crazy. So the brass on the snipe is definitely a plus because I know I'm never going to be getting into brass breaches myself. Um, thank you very much for the trade, and we'll see you on the next video, everybody. Hope you have a great day.